11 Types of Casting Processes What is casting? Casting is a fundamental manufacturing process where molten metal is poured into a mold to create a solid object with a specific shape and structure. Casting's versatility and cost-effectiveness have made it indispensable in industries like automotive, aerospace, and construction. It excels at crafting complex components with precision. With advancements in technology, we now have a plethora of specialized casting methods. Let's explore each one of these 11 casting processes. Sand casting. Sand casting is a process that uses molds made from silica-based materials like naturally bonded or synthetic sand. It's perfect for creating large components, such as engine blocks for the automotive industry. However, it can result in products with a slightly rough surface finish. Check out its advantages and disadvantages. Gravity Die Casting Moving on to gravity die casting, which employs reusable molds made of sturdy materials like steel and graphite. In this process, molten metal is poured directly into the mold cavity under the influence of gravity. Gravity die casting is particularly suitable for materials like lead, zinc, aluminum, magnesium alloys, certain bronzes, and cast iron. It is ideal for manufacturing various parts like gears, gear housing, pipe fittings, wheels, engine pistons, etc. Advantages and Disadvantages Pressure Die Casting Pressure die casting comes in two varieties, low pressure and high pressure. High pressure die casting is ideal for mass-producing, intricate, precise components while low pressure suits larger and simpler parts. Pressure die casting differs from gravity die casting in the process of filling up the mold, where pressure die casting uses high pressure injection of molten metal into the metal mold. The molten metal is then solidified rapidly to produce the required product. Advantages and disadvantages. Investment casting. Investment casting, also known as lost wax casting, is a process that invests wax pattern with refractory material and a binding agent to shape a disposable ceramic mold. And then, molten metal is poured into the mold to make metal castings. Investment casting is an expensive and labor-intensive process and can be used for mass production or in complex castings to produce metal casting products, ranging from gears, bicycle trunks, moto discs, and spare parts in blasting machines. Advantages and disadvantages. Plaster casting. Plaster casting uses a plaster of Paris's mold, which cools the metal more slowly, allowing for high accuracy, especially with thin cross-section parts. However, it's not suitable for high temperature ferrous materials. Advantages and Disadvantages Centrifugal Casting Centrifugal casting, or rotocasting, is an industrial method for producing cylindrical parts using centrifugal forces. Molten metal is poured into a preheated spinning die, and the centrifugal forces distribute the metal within the die under high pressure. There are three variations of centrifugal casting. True centrifugal casting, semi-centrifugal casting, and vertical centrifugal casting. Typically, centrifugal casting produces rotational shapes like cylinders. In particular, parts like bush bearings, clutch plates, piston rings, and cylinder liners, etc. Also, the pouring of metal in the center of the mold helps in reducing defects such as blowholes, shrinkage, and gas pockets. However, it is not suitable for all kinds of metal alloys. Advantages and disadvantages. Lost foam casting. Lost foam casting is similar to investment casting but uses foam for the pattern. Once the pattern is formed, coating with a refractory ceramic takes place by dipping, coating, spraying, or brushing. Then, the molten metal is poured into the mold to form the desired product. It's suitable for materials like alloy steel and carbon steel making products like pump housing, fire hydrants, and valves. Advantages and disadvantages. 
Vacuum Casting Vacuum casting takes place under vacuum pressure to eliminate bubbles and air pockets. It's used for components like structural chassis components and automotive body parts. Advantages and Disadvantages Squeezing Casting Squeezing casting is a hybrid process that merges permanent mold casting and die forging. In this process, a specific amount of molten metal alloy is injected into a die and pressure is applied to shape it. Then, the metal part is heated over melting temperature and extracted from the die. It's ideal for producing safety-critical parts in automotive systems like space frame joints, aluminum front steering knuckles, and more. Advantages and Disadvantages Continuous Casting Continuous casting allows consistent mass production of metal profiles with a constant cross-section, making it popular in the production of steel bars. Advantages and Disadvantages Shell Molding Shell molding is an expendable mold casting process. It uses a finer sand mixed with resin to create molds. It's perfect for producing industrial products like gearbox housing, connecting rods, truck hoods, cylindrical heads, and more. Advantages and Disadvantages Now that you have a better understanding of these 11 casting processes, you might have some questions. Two common ones are, how long does the casting process take to finish? The duration of the casting process can vary significantly and is influenced by several factors, including the product's size, type of casting, production scale, and labor involved. There's no fixed or standard time for casting. It can range from as little as one hour to as long as two to ten weeks, depending on these variables. How durable are casting products? Cast metal products, especially those heat-treated, are known for their durability, ranging from a few months to several decades depending on the metal alloy and application. If you have any more questions about the casting process in manufacturing or need assistance with your next project, feel free to contact Rapid Direct. With a professional engineer's team, we are ready to provide you with expert guidance and suggestions. If you found this guide informative, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more educational content.